We came up here to see the monument, um, just to check to see if my name was on it yet, um, and um, was surprised to find it on there with the misspelling. Well, that's Air Force veteran Lisa Wilkin. She recently stopped by her Madison County town, her hometown there of Summitville, to see if her name had been added to the local war monument. It was there, not once, but twice. Both her married and maiden names made it onto the marble. Now she's working to rectify the issue so that the permanent structure is accurate for future generations to appreciate. But as our Alyssa Donovan explains, the fix is not an easy task. Fields, um, we have cousin Greg, Uncle Lawrence, um, cousin Mick, cousin Lonnie. Each veteran name meaningful to Summitville native Lisa Wilkin. Friends, family, neighbors. Glenn Hoppus. But when pointing to her own, she feels frustrated. Her time in the Air Force commemorated on her hometown monument incorrectly. And so this is my name um, without the S. The S should not be there. Um, and then this is my name. Um, my maiden name is right. Wilkins served from 1994 to 1996. At the time, she was not married and went by Lisa Wright, the name she enlisted with and the only one that should be on the monument. Not only that, but the second listing of her married name is misspelled. And now she's working to get the mistake resolved, not only for herself, but for future generations. It's important not only personally for me and my family, um, but it's important on a bigger picture because women proudly serve. And unfortunately, our service sometimes gets overlooked or we're invisible. We're mistaken as the spouse or the daughter. So having the names of women on our monuments and having them correct is important. D. Amos is the co-founder of the Main Street organization, the group behind the monument, which replaced another monument that had fallen into disrepair. Actually, it took us 10 years to just even raise the funds for it. Uh, we did several poker runs, uh, chili suppers, different various events. Amos says she understands why it's important the change is made. I do, I do, um, I, I, and I can respect that. Um, but um, I just wish I would have had the correct information to begin with. Both Wilkin and Amos agree there was confusion with how both names came to be on the monument. And Amos says, unfortunately, it's not an easy fix and may come with a hefty price tag. I'm going to try to see about getting it filled in. If I can't get it filled in, then I'll have to have that. I'll have to replace that whole panel, which will cost thousands of dollars. Wilkin is working on raising the money on her own. Unfortunately, in a small town like Summitville and towns across the, the country, there's not a lot of extra revenue around, even within our nonprofits. And so what I did was reached into the veteran community. She's raised $1,000 so far, but Amos says that won't cover the cost if the panel does need to be replaced. When we put this panel in, just this panel, it was $38.50, and that was back in 2018. And so granite has doubled in price since then. And with supply chain issues, it could take up to two years for the new piece of granite to even arrive. Wilkin is hopeful it won't come to that. But if it does, she plans to help raise the money to make the correction. Monuments in small communities like this are important to recognize the service of the men and women that come from the local communities. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV.